Hey guys, I'm here today because I wanted to show you how I cover up my acne, you know, the little the little period acne we be getting. So there we go, let's get into it. You're gonna start off by prepping the face. This is moisturizer slash primer. This is the Glow Radiant Moisturizer from Primer, Pri from Elf Cosmetics. So I put my hair up, but for this look, why is this like covered in, in hair? Okay, so for this look, Instead of going in with regular concealer, I'm taking the Bye Bye Under Eye Full Coverage Anti-Aging Waterproof Concealer from IT Cosmetics. Cause she really thick and does the job. And there's another pimple there. So, taking my Juno and Co sponge. You got mommy's lotion? And I'm literally just gonna pat that over the pimples and problem areas. Hi! And I don't want to blend it in too much because when I apply my foundation, it can move. So I'm just gonna leave it just like that. Allow it to set and then I'm going to apply my foundation. Now I'm going in with my most favorite foundation on the entire planet. This is the IT Cosmetics CC Cream. Just taking that amount on a brush and going to buff it into my skin. This is in the shade medium. By the way, I like to apply it like this before I actually rub it in because I feel like it gets a little spread out and kind of melts more before you actually like blend it in. So I'm going to blend it and I'll come right back. So now that it's blended in, I'm going to move this tutorial outside because my kid wants to go play outside. So now I'm going in with my Benefit Cosmetics Creaseless Cakeless Under Eye Concealer and I'm just going to blend that out with the Juno & Co sponge. I also put it over my pimples, even though I concealed them already. I like to double conceal them so you really, really don't see them. So here I'm just blending out my concealer as I normally would. And I'm literally like, as I'm blending it out, I'm pressing it into the skin to conceal my pimples and problem areas. Now I'm blending out the other eye. And now down the bridge of my nose. Now I'm going in with my Chanel Les Beiges uh, contour cream or bronzing cream, whatever you want to call it. I'm just taking a Lorac um, contouring brush that came with one of their contour palettes. And I'm literally just taking that Chanel cream and I'm putting it everywhere that I would like to contour or bronze up the face. This color is, it's the universal shade for the company, but like this color is amazing. I'm just taking that brush and I'm literally patting it into my skin to pretty much like blend it out and like let my skin absorb it. This product, I have to say, is like one of the best liquid contours I've ever used. It's very expensive, $50, but it's totally worth the price. Now I'm taking my iHeart Banana from iHeart Revolution Banana Setting Powder and I'm literally like packing that onto my entire face. Oh no. Oh no. 
putting it on my under eyes, on my lid. Like I'm just putting that bitch everywhere. Making sure that I am powdered to the heavens. And I forgot my powder brush, so I'm just using my contour powdered brush and just wiping it all away. Now I'm taking my Physician's Formula um, bronzer and I am just warming up the face. Now I'm taking my blush. This is from e.l.f. Cosmetics. It's literally like $3. And it is one of my favorite shades. It is super pigmented, super pretty. And like, I'm totally obsessed with it. And it's only like $3. Now I'm taking my Mary Luminizer Highlight. And I'm just highlighting the areas above my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, where my eyebrows are, and... All over my forehead basically just i'm putting highlight all over my entire face so then i went ahead and i applied lashes and i did a little bit of eye makeup i don't know what happened there but um yeah this is the final look this is what it looks like pimples who i mean you can see the texture but you can't see the pimple and this is what it looks like in the sun thank you so much for watching